Welcome to another Disney day and a very exciting one because we are going to Hollywood Studios this morning and then on to Epcot this evening and we have extra hours in Epcot which is always great because you can get a lot of the attractions done. So we're just finishing getting ready and heading out. We are using Genie Plus today and uh, we've already had a bit of a setback. Uh, the Slinky Dog Dash saga continues. I feel like we are totally doomed when it comes to that ride. We added our Genie Plus which was fine. About 7.15 I went online and booked a return time for 4.30 p.m also fine and because of what happened last time i went back in to check it and it was there 4 30 and again because of what happened last time i went back in and checked it about an hour later and it has changed to 8 p.m which is not going to work because we won't be there so the exact same thing has happened again that happened last time and um, the reason i don't seem annoyed this time is because obviously i realized ahead of time we're gonna be able to use it for other things. So I canceled that and we booked Millennium Falcon instead. And obviously we can use it for other attractions. We'll have to try and ride Slinky Dog Dash another day. But I think you just need to try and get on there so quickly in the morning that you get a very, very early time. And then if it moves, it won't move all the way to the evening, if that makes sense. So I don't know. It's just the weirdest thing. It just seems to be us and that ride. We're not having much luck, but it's all good. <laughs> We're very excited to go back to both of these parks for the first time on this trip. The weather today also is not going to be as cold. I do have a jacket here just for now because I think it is going to be chilly in the morning and of course we're going to be at Epcot until 11 p.m we might not be there all the way to 11 but it will be cold in the evening um, but it will be considerably warmer than yesterday and on the note of yesterday the vlog that we did yesterday isn't on this channel so this will have gone straight from Animal Kingdom to this vlog but yesterday we did actually go shopping we had breakfast at Boma we went to Disney Springs tried Gideon's cookies for the first time the reason I didn't put that vlog on this channel is because not everybody is into the kind of shopping type thing I know a lot of you are here for the parks so if anybody wants to watch that vlog it is over on my other channel Victoria in detail I will link it in the description below and right at the end of this video there will be a link that you can click to go and watch that after you've watched this one so if you're interested in seeing our shopping Disney Springs and everything yesterday um, that is over on my other channel so let's get going and let's go and get a bus I think we're gonna be a little bit after park opening so hopefully the bus won't be too crazy but let's go see and I have been forgetting to do outfit of the day I was very good on my last trip but usually I'm terrible at remembering um so these ears I have on are from Disney they're the red sequin ones I bought in 2019 this play suit I have is from Boohoo and it has kind of very long drapey sleeves so it is quite good if it's a bit cooler because it does have long sleeves this denim jacket is from New Look and then I have my red Converse and I forgot to show what Kate's wearing she is sporting some ears from Ears Ever After these velvet ones are beautiful they come in lots of different them. colours they are amazing and they were very kindly gifted and Kate is wearing a leather jacket and she has these very awesome leggings on look I'm at sweaty these sweaty vetty these were sweaty vetty here we go Okay, we have arrived here at Hollywood Studios, just looking at the Skyliner, which we will be riding later to go across to Epcot. And I can't remember if I told you what happened. So I told you about Slinky Dog, obviously. We cancelled that and booked Millennium Falcon instead for this afternoon. I can't remember whether I said that or not. And at 11, we can book our next one. We're going to try and get Toy Story Mania. That's one of Kate's favourites. She loves that. Of course, I love it too. And we're hoping it doesn't get pushed like the time that's available to too late in the day because, of course, we're going to Epcot. So we'll keep you updated on what happens with that because I know you guys are really interested in Genie Plus and how it works out for your trips that you've got coming up so the Skyliner Kate just missed it didn't you in 2019 yeah, I think I think you came on your next trip and you rode it after it just opened yes but the last time I was here when we were students all of this was Bordeaux yeah and they were still building it and they were doing like test runs yes that was it and I think you went home a week earlier than me and then it opened so yeah. you kind of missed out so Kate's gonna get to ride this for the first first time today I love it as you know I think it's my favorite mode of transportation at Disney now closely followed by the monorail and as always seems to be the case now security is not too bad at all ever since they installed the new security scanners where you just walk through and they don't have to individually check everybody's bag it's a lot quicker I love that change it's one of my favorite 
breaches that they've made because I haven't had any lines to enter parks through security like there used to be. I don't have an umbrella today. It says there is 0% chance of rain. We're trusting the forecast. It is amazing, completely clear. So fingers crossed they are telling us the truth there and we won't get rained on. We did say welcome home. But I only just barely heard it now that I know that it says that. So probably the reason we've not noticed it before is it's quite noisy as you're entering. But he said, welcome home. I was going to say it's one of those. I love that. So here we are back in Hollywood Studios. I love the music in this park. I say it every time, but I do. And especially when you walk into this weather, it's perfect. I don't know if you guys heard that voice emerge from my left hand side. That was Kate saying, I'm hungry. So we need to do something about that. Um, you know what I'm gonna say. I need, I need coffee. So let's go and look at Starbucks. I can see the line though is outside. So shall we go to our special Joffrey's location which never has as much of a line? Yes. Yes. Shall we walk through some stores first? Let's, okay. And I'm never too hungry to shop. That's not true. <laughs> And we will try and use the mobile checkout if we buy something because I want to show you guys how that works and we would like to discover it ourselves so we'll see. The rail of sweaters has been wheeled out because it is still quite chilly. And I think this is a jacket that we haven't seen before. It's like quilted but it's quilted in like a Mickey head style and it's rose gold kind of on the little mini embroidery on the front. That is... $59.99 and I don't believe we've seen this stitch lounge fly either that's very cute oh look at this I love that and that one is $75 why didn't I see this when I was looking for a water bottle because that is everything it's like the little um, scream thingy from Monsters Inc and it's got lock and unlock I mean it's not the kind of top I was looking for but I would definitely use that I'm not sure it's my style, you know me, I like black or beige, more, yeah. I love this. If you had a colourful outfit on, that would be pretty awesome. That would be nice as a key ring, I'd like that as a key ring. Actually, yeah, that would, that would be nice. And they do have some Toy Story Land specific shirts, so not just Toy Story, but specifically Toy Story Land here at Hollywood Studios. And just behind me over here is the cast member with the um, exit for the mobile checkout. So if you've done the mobile checkout, you basically come here and show that you've checked out I guess if that makes sense but we'll try it at some point all 90s vibes again we've got we've got some uh, popper trousers anyone from the UK I don't know if they were a thing in the US but the older Kappa popper trousers were it was all about that right did you have any I didn't actually it wasn't my no, thing I borrowed some from a friend once. of course you did you weren't allowed any <gasps> I mean, someone did you a favour there, <laughs> to be honest. Interesting, a Captain America dress. Is that what it is? Yep. I didn't, I wasn't aware that that's a thing. Yeah, that, well, I mean, apparently it is. I wasn't aware either. And that is $128, so that's kind of pricey. So we're just taking some photos here and we just ran into Heidi, Sophia, Maya and Bonnie. So hi to you guys and I hope you had a great time. And also earlier this morning when we were waiting for the bus we ran into Robin who is also here with Karen. So hi to you guys. I hope you are having an amazing time also or had an amazing time by the time you're watching this. And now I think we definitely need to go and get Kate some kind of pastry or donut and a coffee definitely. Moments later. We're just on the way to get our coffee we just ran into Leonie and her family. So hi to you and thank you so much for saying hello. Hello. We're meeting lots of you this morning in Hollywood Studios. This is clearly the place to be today. It's time to go to our lesser known coffee spot of Joffrey's around the corner here because it's always got a bit less of a line. And standby entrance for um, Tower of Terror is, is that 60 or 80? The shadow is over it, 60 I think. 60 minutes. So that's not terrible for that ride. I mean, that's fairly common to see it up around there. As far as I'm concerned, the line couldn't be long enough. No, Kate is not a Tower of Terror fan. Neither am I. It absolutely on. terrifies me. I've never been on it and I shan't. No, I mean, it's the dropping issue. We don't like it. No. And as you can see, there is still a line here, but it's always so much quicker than Starbucks for sure. We have our coffees. Kate has gone for a cold brew. I have just a regular latte. And we also have 
a job freeze donut. I've got the uh, Oreo one here. Kate's having a pink donut, which she's just currently eating. They've started giving them out in these little wax baggy things. Just be careful when you pick it up because it will instantly just rip when you lift it. And I almost dropped it on the floor. So just be careful of that. But these donuts are amazing. We love these. And it's actually the perfect time for us to be taking a break because in about five minutes time, we'll be able to book our next Lightning Lane return time. So I will show you what happens with that and whether we can get one for a suitable time, hopefully for Toy Story Mania. Okay, we're back on to Genie Plus. Let's have a look. Toy Story Mania, 3 p.m., yes? Yes, I think so. Got it. So we now have Toy Story Mania and we also have our Millennium Falcon later today. And while we were there having our coffee, the standby wait has gone up to 100 minutes for Tower of Terror. But we're on the move again and we are going to go to Star Tours, which I believe is 25. We're also probably going to go and do Muppet Vision 3D, which is 10. And obviously later we have our Millennium Falcon, Smuggler's Run at return time and also Toy Story Mania. So we're feeling good so far about our... Um, attractions we're going to be doing we've just been wandering taking some photos that's a good thing to do while you're kind of waiting to do your first few return times and stuff but we're just loving it this weather is beautiful it's not as cold as yesterday at all but it's not hot which we like and we're probably not going to do mickey and minnie's runaway railway today unless the line is reasonable later on so we've just arrived at star tours the standby has gone up to 45 but we're going to do it anyway as i said sometimes the standby is not as long as it's stated so we'll go in and see what it actually is Look who's here! <laughs> and the main mouse himself, of course. So I just met Kat there while I was waiting for Kate and we're going on Star Tours now. And she's on a solo trip, so I hope you had an amazing time, Kat. And also Rachel and her husband as well said hello, so I hope you also had an amazing time. Flight 610 will now be departing from gate 1D. This is a gate change announcement only. Thank you. That's one fantastic annoying. Star Tours is proud to introduce the Star Speed. The most sophisticated and luxurious space liner in its class. While other space lines pack you in like a herd of dogs. Star Tours is not responsible for lost or destroyed luggage, missed flights, disruptions, and service caused by Imperial and Star Tours seem to be getting an unusual reading from the binary motivator. Well, what are we here? I'll say the day! Destroy! Oh, you're kidding me. Someone would actually take one of those on a vacation? Well, that's a first. Don't, don't shout it out all at once, okay? head into ABC Commissary to eat something. It's now lunchtime. It's kind of busy through here. So hopefully we'll be able to get a table. Let's go and take a look. I guess you can do mobile order. Change of plan. We are just going to go to Backlot Express instead. The menu has changed here and me being the fussy person I am didn't like anything. So we're just going to head to Backlot Express, which is not very far. We are in Backlot Express just waiting for our mobile order. And I thought I'd just let you know about Star Tours. So the line it said it was 45 minutes and it was 15. We timed it from getting into the line to getting to the front. In our experience so far, nothing has been as long as it's posted. So always just be aware of that. If you see a line that sounds longer than what you want to wait, it may not actually be that long. And on that note, we're considering going and doing the standby line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which is of course a newer, more kind of premium attraction. It says it's 65 minutes and we really just want to see if it is actually 65 minutes. So once we've had this, we may potentially go and do that. And by the time we've done that, it will be time for our return time for Toy Story Mania, which we absolutely love. So we're finding today, it does seem really busy when you're walking around and looking around, you're kind of thinking, whoa, it looks crowded. But actually, we're able to do things fairly easily, get on attractions fairly easily. We walked straight in here to Backlot Express and found a table without any problem. So don't always be alarmed by it looking busy. Sometimes it's not actually that bad at all. We're really enjoying it here today. We've met so many of you guys. I can't believe how many of you we've met today. It's been amazing so far. And the fact that we're going to Epcot this evening as well is just great because it is my favorite park. And we're gonna go and take a break at the Riviera before we go to Epcot. Because obviously if you do a really long day and we are gonna stay and do the extra hours to do those rides at Epcot, then we will need to have a little leg break, I think, in the middle of the day. Kate is nodding. We definitely are gonna need that. And Kate's not been to Riviera yet even to 
look around or anything so we thought that'd be a good place to go so for our lunch kate has got chicken strips and i have gone for a burger i haven't had a disney burger for a while just in like a quick service and we both had cheese sauce for our fries because you know why wouldn't you so that was a really nice lunch i was actually glad i got a burger i really really enjoyed that actually and now we're going to go for a wander around galaxy's edge just kind of look in the stores take it all in this area of the park is honestly so well themed and i've said to other people a lot of people have said they're not fans of star wars do i think they'd enjoy it absolutely i mean it always is enjoyable oh lots of people are taking photos of the smiley face in the sky it's the skywriter guy who has been doing this i don't know if it's the same guy since 2002 when i first started coming here and over here is where you get your blue and green milk which we probably will do at some stage i don't know if we'll do it now because we're kind of full from lunch and i think i have i tried them both now i definitely recall the green one but i'm not sure about the blue so perhaps we'll try the blue next time right kate has googled it so his name is jerry stevens and he's a crop duster pilot and he's been doing skywriting over disney for 20 years 20 years see i was here at the beginning i knew it and the standby line for millennium falcon is 70 minutes don't forget there is a single rider line so if ever you're with your group and you don't mind if you're not in the same ride vehicle then you've always got that option and it will be quicker than 70 minutes and here is millennium falcon looking majestic it's a little bit sunny so uh i'll come back and show you this properly later because you probably can't see it very well and i believe that star wars hotel which the name has completely escaped me i'll put it on the screen is almost kind of getting ready they're taking reservations and stuff i don't know what the price is i haven't looked i'm kind of bracing myself i'm sure it's a lot um, but i can't wait to see people's videos of it obviously i am not going to be staying there initially unless i have a lottery win but i can't wait to see people's footage of it when they stay there it does sound absolutely amazing and just like a complete once in a lifetime experience so let's head in to one of the stores and have a little browse around the theming in the whole of Galaxy's Edge, including in the stores they have, is incredible. I even find the theming of like the shelving and stuff, like the whole thing is just amazing to me every time. I love it so much. You can get Darth Vader's castle, which lights up. I wonder how much that will set you back. Struggle to find the price, it's right underneath. It is $200, so kind of pricey. Do you remember when I put one of these on? I do remember that. And actually, I think the last couple of days, this would have been very, very nice. And with how cold it is, it's very thick. That looks like a mouse there, doesn't it? Oh yeah, Hidden Mickey. Oh, cheap. yeah. That actually does look like a Hidden Mickey. Love that. Is it or not? It looks like a Hidden Mickey, for sure. So if you're feeling a bit extra, you can definitely get I mean, one of these. And We're always extra. Oh, obviously. There is something very creepy looking in here. I feel concerned that it's going to start moving while we're looking at it. The tentacle things are moving, that's bad enough. You can get yourself a Jedi gear set, which is $29.99. And this droid is putting in a shift as always. He must get so tired. And we're just going to take a look in this area because Kate is in the market for a Star Wars souvenir. And they have lots of little kind of pop-up stores through here, which is kind of cool. And we have the, the creature that looks kind of like a cross between a chicken and a cat in there. We have to visit our old friend, the Paul. I do want to buy this guy every single time I come here. And the standby for Rise of the Resistance appears to be 110 minutes, which is not really that bad for this attraction. I've seen it a lot higher than that. One day we will do the standby just to see if it's less than what it says, if it's the same. Of all the attractions that might actually be the posted wait time, I would say it's this one. So don't bank on this one being any shorter. I know we've said that, but Rise of the Resistance, I think it could actually be 110 minutes if that's what it's saying. And we're just going to make a slow walk over over to Muppet Vision. I did make a lightning lane for it because you can. I don't know if we need one. I don't know if it will save us any time than if we'd have stood in standby. But since we were able to book another one, that was the only time that was gonna work out. So we went for it. And we've missed the Muppets. I love the Muppets. I feel like they're a bit underrepresented, especially Beaker. He's my fave. So we're here at Muppet Vision 3D. We didn't get to do this last time. It's only 10 minutes until the next show, but we are gonna go through the lightning lane just because we can. And we have a lightning lane return time. So let's go do that. So just as you come through, here is the little touch point. Yeah, Thank you. 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 Th
here. So there wasn't really any line, so there was literally no point in using a lightning lane because the other people ahead of us here, as you can see, have just walked through the standby. But I made it just in case. Oh my, this is as full as I've ever seen it in here. There has been some sitting in the middle of a row, which, as we know, is distinctly unpatriotic. Not allowed. No, but it happens. 20 minutes later. So that was super cute, and we just met Sam and Brett, who were in there um, next to us. So hi to you guys, and thanks for saying hello. And I think with the Muppet Vision 3D show, you either love it or you hate it. I love it. It's just the nostalgia for me. Kate is indifferent, actually. She's in the middle. Again, not a fan. It would be really, really fun if you had little kids with you, regardless. Yeah. Like, it's a little bit dated, but it's classic. Yeah. It's cute. Um, it's I've cute. never been into the so for me, I'm indifferent to it. Yeah. But, you know, if you had little kids with you, regardless of whether they knew what, what it was or not, they would really enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. And for me, it is the only real representation of Beaker in the parks, and he is one of my absolute favourite characters. So, of course, I love it. And yes, it is a little bit dated, but it's great. So, really glad we did that. Um, so, now we're going to make a slow walk over to Toy Story Land because it's almost time for our Toy Story Mania return time. So I know we talk about the weather a lot on this channel and I know some of you don't like that but we come from the UK and it's one of the biggest questions I get all the time. What should I pack? What should I wear? What is the weather going to be like? So that's the reason I talk about it so much is because you guys ask about it a lot and me and Kate were just saying like this is probably the most perfect weather we've ever had. It has been brilliant. Yeah today it's, is amazing. It's not cold, it's lovely and warm, it's sunny, it's light, it's bright you feel like it's a treat from being in the UK but at the same time I'm not burning my bottom when I sit on the bench no I'm not getting you know sunburn parting on my head no nope. sunburn feet it's lovely we're not getting Hagrid hair or any it's not hot or humid in any way it's actually just warm it's not cold it's amazing I do have a jacket on so it's obviously not hot but yeah it's amazing, so nice. So it has been a little bit chilly, I must be honest, but this is just perfect today. We are now in Toy Story Land. I still have not had the opportunity to sit in the cheese chair. Here it is, the baby bell chair. It's always taken when we come past, but one day I will get to do that. And uh, Slinky Dog is 95 minutes, so we're not gonna wait in line for that because we have our Toy Story Mania really soon and we won't have time. So we're just on our way to our return time and we met Jennifer while we were waiting and also Erica. So thank you so much to you guys for saying hi. We love meeting all of you. Now we're gonna go on this ride and who is gonna win is the question. What do you think? Absolutely, I'm terrible at this. I don't know, I think you're gonna have a sneaky victory, you know? See, I'm competitive, but mm. I'm really, really bad at it. So. Well, Kate's more competitive than me. I'm not that competitive, but I've ridden it more times. And we are very thankful to have a return time because it's 120 minute standby, which is quite a lot for this ride. You don't often see it that long. So yeah, definitely happy to be getting a shorter wait. Thank you. Moments later. Okay, this does not look good. I think the ride has gone down just as we got here for our return. Mm. Not cool. Not cool. Um, so we'll see what's going on, and I guess if it has gone down, yeah, everyone's everyone's coming back out. So they've told us that the half the ride is broken down. So this ride actually got extended at one point to be bigger and I think just half of it is down. So we can still wait and that's what we're gonna do. More moments later. So we just asked the cast member and basically what's happened, half of the ride has gone down because this ride has like two tracks, if that makes sense. And it means that if you have a lightning lane return time, it's gonna be about a 20 to 30 minute wait, which we're fine with. Yeah. Um, it is a little annoying, I guess, because lightning lane, normally you'll be able to get straight on, but it's only 20 to 30 minutes. But a lot of people are leaving the line because they don't want to wait. Which is fair enough, I guess. Fine by me. Yeah, we're we'll fine. leave the line, but that's time we'll have to wait. Exactly, very true. <laughs> We are currently experiencing a delay at Toy Story Mania. Please be advised that your wait time may be increased from the time posted at our entrance. We apologize for your inconvenience and thank you for your understanding. <laughs> We're almost at the front and that's taken about half an hour so that's kind of what they said obviously that's a little long for lightning lane where you would expect to pretty much kind of get straight on but there was the delay with breakdown of the ride so i don't think that's too bad at all so the victory was mine on that particular game i had 155,000. you had 120 28 
33, something like that. Yes, yeah, so we both did pretty well, I think. I, I was really terrible. love that. You weren't terrible. terrible. You did good. That's good. I think it, it is. It makes your arm ache. It does. It really makes your arm ache. And best in vehicle was 180 something thousand, so I did not get best in vehicle. Um, but we love it. We love Toy Story Mania. It's amazing. And now it's pretty much time for our Millennium Falcon return time, which yes. we're very excited for. I didn't do that in November. And then we are going to head over to the Riviera to have a nice relaxing rest to prepare ourselves for Epcot, which we can't wait to ride rides with the extra hours. Will we be a pilot? Will we be a gunner? Or will we be an engineer? We don't know. So let's head in and see. I haven't ridden this for a really long time, so I'm super excited to do this. I didn't get to do it last time, and I didn't get to do it the time before either. So yeah, this is gonna be awesome. I love this. And this is a better look at Galaxy's Edge, like I was saying earlier. The sun was in the way, now it's not. So it's looking amazing. Perfect, you're all set. Thank you. Running up so hard to set my friends into danger. You insult my love. Hello, hello, my friends. I am Hondo Laka, and this is Laka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Oh, the Millennium Falcon. Oh no, was a very fast and very profitable expedition. You, I am. you and me are piloting the Falcon. We can no, we're going to have to do it, mate. We're going to have to step up and I'm pilot sure this ship. Well, we're going to have to. Right. We're going to have to do it. Oh, no. we, we'll do it. We can do it. I believe in you. I mean, I hate to say that we're all doomed, but if we're piloting this ship, we might all be doomed. I may or may not be able to vlog this experience if I actually have to fly this ship, so we'll see. Kate is on edge about being co pilot. <laughs> We're both pilot, me and you. But it is down to me and you. We're equally responsible. We're equally responsible. Kate is genuinely terrified about this. So she does left and right, I do up and down. That's correct. So it could be worse, I could be doing things like Yeah, exactly. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of Coaxia. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. I hope you are ready, my friends, but to be sure, my I will be coming along. Okay. Okay, I need to concentrate, guys, so I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Oh, that was rough. <laughs> Did you oh, dear. pilot? I mean, I tried. Cameron, you're blinking, you're blinking. <laughs> oh, no, I am. The ranking is scoundrel. <laughs> oh, dear. We're scoundrels, that's, not, right. that's not good. Damage report. Could be worse. <laughs> yeah, we could be dead. Life support failure. Uh, oh, okay, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to cut you up there. It might be faster if you listen to parts that are not damaged. As you can see, there is some damage here at the hands of me and Kate. So that was awesome. We were pilots, as you saw, and I kind of was hoping not to be because I always feel very responsible for potentially ruining people's experiences if I crash the Millennium Falcon. Kate was very on edge about it, I think. It was extremely stressful. Next time I need something that's responsible. Yeah, Kate did not like the responsibility right? of uh, whether or not we crashed the ship, but it was super fun. It was really good, and um, everyone was kind of cheering us on, weren't they? Our yeah. teammates. So we did. I think we did okay. It was really fun. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't totally, you know, mess it up. So I think it was fine. It was really good fun. And now we're going to exit and head over to Riviera because we need a break now. And when we were getting onto the ride, the people from Single Rider were joining. So I decided to ask somebody how long they waited because I know you you guys are interested in that kind of information and the girl I spoke to said she waited like 10 minutes she's done it several times before and the most she's kind of waited was like 15 so definitely if you don't mind getting separated from the rest of your party then 10 or 15 minutes is kind of how long you can expect to wait and the main standby was 75 minutes so I thought I would get that information for you pretty good it is definitely so we just ran into Heather and Simone hi to you guys we had a really nice chat with them and you were so awesome and I just can't get over how many of you guys are here at Hollywood Studios today like I said it's clearly the park to be in because we have met a lot of you and we always love doing that so if you see us definitely say hi and we love having a little chat about your day what you've been up to and everything Indiana Jones has opened back up again and it is currently standing room only so it's very popular I guess a lot of people are wanting to see it again oh my some very loud sounds coming out of there and now it's time for the Skyliner Kate's first ride on Skyliner she's excited and it explains on this little board here 
Disney's Caribbean Beach is kind of the hub and you can transfer to Art of Animation, Pop Century, Riviera and Epcot. Here we go. And we have a Skyliner gondola to ourselves, which is amazing. Yes. I feel very spoiled. Yes. yes. But very it wasn't good. busy getting on so the lady could see what Welcome aboard. Yeah, she could Disney's tell we wanted to go on our own. At Disney's Hollywood Studios. Caribbean Beach is definitely a resort that I want to do sometime. I've never stayed there and I do love that it's right here by the Skyliner so at some point we will stay there for sure. So here we are at the Riviera, we're going to go in and get ourselves a drink, a nice comfy chair and have a little break. Kate's never been here and obviously Kate is a DVC member as well so she's excited to see it for potentially staying here on future trips and you love the Skyliner didn't you? Kate was just saying it's so kind of chilled and peaceful because Kate does have a bit of an aversion to being touched by strangers on buses Accident when it's busy. <laughs> it does two things, it fills me with rage one because people should be more careful and the other thing it does is it actually makes me feel physically sick like it's, it's a physical aversion to it, I hate it like if you're sat next to somebody clearly your legs or your hips might protect you and I can cope with that but if they then brush their ankle on your ankle or someone swipes you with their dress or something I think it stems from what happened to you in Animal Kingdom when the man who walked past you was sweaty brushed past you and it was just utterly horrendous. No, it stems back many more years. Oh, does it? Oh my goodness. I remember being in Malta once, isn't it happening? And this poor lady, all she did was stand next to me and her skirt flapped and it kept touching me. <laughs> So if anyone ever sees Kate on any kind of Disney transport, I would steer well clear for your own safety. Um, I would never say anything, I know it's my opinion that I would just stay very, very quiet. <laughs> Inside She'll be quietly full of rage. <laughs> so we're here at the Riviera, we're just getting ourselves a beverage in the La Petite Cafe, which is a bar and they also have coffee. So I decided to double up on drinks. I've got a raspberry mocha latte and I also have a lavender iced tea lemonade. So we've got two drinks here. This is very, very good. And we're just going to have ourselves a nice, relaxing rest. What did you get? But I didn't realise it was a cold brew. All I saw was it said something about mocha and something about almonds. So I treat myself to a glass of wine. Oh, look at you. You just Although don't care, I do really, you? I really, really drink one now, so I'll probably be a bit scared. Should be out of control in a minute and then we just are probably going to go into la boutique at some point as well but we're just going to have of course i mean look who we've got with us here but we're just going to chill have a nice little rest on this very comfortable couch for a while two hours later we're just having a little look in here i do like this i must admit it's very nice it's 110 bucks though that's kind of pricey yeah 120 120 that is such a lot of money. It is a lot of money. And you can get yourself a Riviera fluffy robe, which is very nice. How much is this? Oh, $150. How many? 150 That's That is well, a lot of money. That's kind of pricey. I don't like that. No, that's quite nice. It's like embossed. Yeah, that's quite cool actually, that isn't is it? Really nice I haven't seen any like that. That is $29.99. And oh, they've got matching shorts. Ooh, they have some, some car... Boat line. Yes, if you have oh, some... Oh, it's got a little nicky on it. If you had some boat shoes, I feel like Mickey. you'd be... Your Riviera I outfit would be some complete. boat shoes to match. I do like that. Oh, I do like that, actually. It's a very you... I sort of didn't take it in at first. That is very nice. Although, I do have a Joffrey's Riviera Resort mug already that I got for free when I bought my coffee, That's so... Having two, I think, is... Um, no, that's not not necessary in life. If your initials were RR, that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? And here is the watch strap that I was talking about in black rather than white, but now I see it again, I'm on the fence. Is he vomiting a rainbow? Yes, I don't know how I feel about that. I I'm mean, I've had a few nights out like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're done with our break and we're getting back onto the Skyliner to go to Epcot and go to Via Napoli, which I'm so excited for. Love Via Napoli. The pizza there, if you haven't had it, 
it is amazing. 20 minutes later. We are back in Epcot, my favourite park. Which is your favourite park? I always forget. I lose track. Epcot and Animal Kingdom. I kind of swing between the two, but actually, after the day we've had at Hollywood Studios today, it's becoming a tougher, a tougher choice. Yes. Such an amazing day. We really have. The atmosphere was great. Um, today was so good. Today was so good. Yeah, and this is actually not too bad. Um, walking around here, compared to when I was here in November, this feels quite comfortable. There's obviously a lot of people around, but it's by no means crazy. And the other exciting thing, of course, is that it's Festival of the Arts. We're not really gonna be looking at that today because we're getting here quite late and the festival booths will close during the additional hours. They're only open kind of during regular park hours. But we'll be back in a couple of days time for a whole Epcot day. We're gonna be trying some of the food booths. We're gonna be checking out the art. We are gonna be taking it all in. So for example, here are some of the little pop-up artwork places. We can have a little look. Ooh. That's not too bad, I guess. Is it like a dark Rapunzel? Yeah. I think that's what it is. I do love that Mickey in the background as well. That's very so cool. Oh, they have a little postcard version. Love that. So here is Italy looking absolutely, look at this building. This looks so pretty at night. I just love it. And we're around 30 minutes early for our reservation, but we're gonna go and check in anyway. They may be able to seat us a little bit early. And it really is actually noticeably quieter here. To say how busy it's been in the parks in general, I thought it was gonna be busier here tonight. It's really not that bad. When I was here in November, it was crazy. So we are here in Via Napoli and I have a Bellini. I didn't get one last time. You know I love one of these and let's just try it. I have missed an Epcot Bellini. That is so good. Kate has an espresso martini, which I have to say is my least favorite cocktail in the world. I had one once and I did not like it, but Becky loves them as well. So it's obviously just me. The cocktails in America, they love a dose of alcohol. In the UK, it's very measured. Over here, they tend to just pour it in. So it's probably a strong one, but we don't mind that. Yeah, we don't want you, we won't be able to do anything with her in a minute. You'll be on soaring just like, what? <laughs> Not allowed. <laughs> Here it is, the giant pizza. I have mushroom and onion or margarita. Kate has mushrooms and olives. You can kind of see how big this thing is. Here's Kate for scale. Yeah, it's rather large. It's massive, so good. It's actually really great value eating here if you share this pizza, it's amazing. So uh, we'll get a verdict from Kate what she thinks in a minute. That is a big old slice. I think I'm gonna need a knife and fork for this. Yeah, that's, this is gonna be a knife and fork situation for sure. We have established that Kate has eaten here before, she just couldn't totally remember, it might have been a while ago. It's good, right? It's so good, we love the pizza here. Well, we have emerged to a completely deserted Italy Pavilion and that is because the harmonious fireworks are happening right now. So we'll get a bit closer so you guys can see a bit of it. We probably won't be able to get right up to the railings but later in the trip, I've just realised I've got my mask on and there's no one around and we're outside. Uh, later in the trip we will definitely try and watch it from the other side where you can see it a bit more head on. Fireworks are over and we're just heading over to the land to hopefully ride Soarin. I wouldn't have thought there's going to be any kind of major wait now that the park is closed. Um, obviously we have these extra hours 
So fingers crossed for a short wait. And then I think we might do Spaceship Earth and then we're gonna head out. We're not worried about doing everything tonight and we are kind of tired. I've got Magic Kingdom tomorrow. Kate is gonna be doing some shopping. I may join later in the day, depending what she decides. So we just have to have our band scanned to even get into this pavilion. So if you are still in the park, that's fine, but you won't be able to kind of get into places without them scanning your band. I've been noticing more and more people in pajamas. Yes, there is a thing of people wearing pajamas in is the park. I'm not judging. No, no, no shade, no shade. I think it says 10 minutes, which will basically mean that it's a walk on. done it was amazing we were going to do spaceship earth but we are very tired and spaceship earth doesn't tend to have the longest line all day on a regular day so we're not too worried we're going to come back and do that another time and just head back to saratoga springs i really need a cup of tea i don't know about you yes. and spaceship earth is looking beautiful with the new lights i love this i just think it looks so good I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed our day at Hollywood Studios and getting a little glimpse at Epcot. Just a very small one. We're going to be back here and do a full day. We're going to be doing lots more attractions, seeing all of the stuff at the Festival of the Arts and everything like that. So if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much to all of you who said hi to us today. We really, really enjoyed meeting every single one of you. We always do. And just thank you so much to everyone who is watching these vlogs, liking, subscribing, everything you do. It is absolutely amazing. We're having a great time so far. This is my absolute favorite park. Spaceship Earth is looking majestic and that is gonna be it from us. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. to Haunted Mansion and look who's Morning. here! Morning! Yes. How are we? I know most of you guys know Adam. If you don't